This video is so simple and I can't believe I didn't do justice to this topic before, but hey, here I am. I am covering the difference between Scrum and Agile. Is it Scrum and Agile the same thing? Are they different? What is Scrum? What is Agile? So that's what we're gonna cover here. Let's get started. The first question that comes along is, is there a difference between Scrum and Agile? And the simplest, shortest answer is yes, there is a difference. They are not the same thing. Scrum is a framework, Agile is a mindset. But we don't need to get all mysterious. I mean, Scrum gives you a structure on how to execute your work, and Agile gives you principles that guides how you think while you execute your work. I like to simplify it this way. Think of a circle, draw it, and call it Scrum and then create a bigger circle that encompasses that one, and that is Agile. Agile is bigger than Scrum. And that is because Scrum is one among many possible implementations of Agile. Then comes the question, what is Agile? We can talk about Agile in many, many ways. We can say that it's a mindset. And yes, a mindset, but like I said, don't consider it too mysterious. Mindset is a way of thinking, and the way you think guides the way that you will behave and do things. So to understand what kind of way of thinking we're talking about, inevitably we have to talk about the Agile Manifesto. We can talk about many other nuances of Agile, especially as it keeps evolving. But just to keep it simple for this video, let's consider the Agile Manifesto. And you have four values and 12 principles in there. And the values have everything to do with Hey, let's respond to change because there is no escaping it. Hey, have you noticed how having people interact is much more effective than having processes and handover of work? Hey, have you noticed that when you work in close collaboration with the customer, the chances that they're going to be delighted and keep coming back are bigger? And have you noticed that work in your hands or in the hands of the customer and then you can discuss by looking at that is actually a lot more fruitful than discussing ideas and you know and in writing stuff down in papers and considering that the paper is the product only to discover two years from now that those ideas when implemented are not that great so agile is really about that put the human at the center of everything those that create those that produce the work and those that consume the work have them all collaborate in the teams and with the stakeholders. Agile is about let's achieve big through small, small incremental change. It the risks, it costs less, it brings more quality. And those are really the fundamental pieces that you get to understand once you uh, read the manifesto for sure. But once you start experiencing and living Agile as well in your product development or with your teams. And even if you are a service company, because Agile has evolved so much now that I would say, uh, not only I would say, but most people would agree that today we talk about adaptive organizations and business agility. So these values and these principles, they still have their applicability pretty much everywhere in any industry today. One more thing to conclude this Agile piece, I guess we can even go further and say that more than the mindset, Agile can and sometimes is considered by some as a paradigm shift. Shift in a paradigm? About what? Well, about how you manage work and how you manage people. Way back into industrial revolution and people operating machines, the way to manage work and to manage people was focused on efficiencies. And efficiencies are a set of localized improvements to make sure that you can produce stuff in a certain way that is very controlled. And that was not a bad thing. It was actually something that allows us to get where we are here. But have you heard that saying that what got you here won't get you there? That's exactly what it is. So I will not get too deep into that, but just remember that when you consider Taylorism, which was this approach that let me break down the work into specific tasks and I will assign the tasks to you in Agile being, hey, let people decide how to do the work. This difference, this paradigm shift is really important because if anything, back in Taylor ages, you would have people whose maximum knowledge was maybe going through school up to the third grade. 
So you get to see that it, it, it's really unsuitable to consider that ways of working very prescriptive to the current people producing work, software and other types of products and services, which is basically knowledge work. We are not in the same category, even intellectually, with how we, um, we show up for work and how we produce our work. So there you have it. Agile is about a small incremental step, small batches of work, iterating over work so that you learn and get better at what you do. It is very human centric, both on the producing and on the receiving end of the work. And Agile is today something that evolved way beyond the realms of software development. It is anywhere you can imagine in product development and even services and it continues as we talk about things such as adaptive organization and business agility etc so now we move to scrum scrum is a framework that implements agile now scrum is arguably the most famous the most used framework that exists for agile out there it was also invented in the times and in the the environment of software development so it was originally something to uh, help developers build better software scrum is known by the concept of sprints or cycles in days or in weeks in duration in which work is done a work is done in sprints and the sprint signifies moments lengths of focus and interrupted work a team will accept changes in the beginning of the sprint then focus deliver that work and then come back to the external world, present what they've done, collect feedback, and then adjust, decide what they need to do next, either for their processes or for the product, for the software that they are developing. Simply speaking, Scrum has five events, and these events are so called because they are meetings with a very specific quorum and a very specific intention. You would have in the very beginning of your sprint, the sprint planning, where you plan for the work ahead for that sprint, for that iteration. Then every day you come back and you check to see if things are going well or not, in which case you figure out what to do next, but you come in every day and that's the daily scrum. And then once you sprint and you have the sprint review where you have appreciation and feedback for the product piece and you have the sprint retrospective where the appreciation is for the team themselves and their own processes and their own improvement as a collective. And you might be wondering, what is the fifth event? Well, it's something interesting and funny. It's a meta piece in a self-containing piece. Scrum is the fifth event itself. So it is the framework as it's being executed. Another thing with Scrum is that they brought in the accountabilities that are very known and today they became even professions, if you will, of the Scrum Master and the product owner. Your Scrum Master being the one who takes care of the team focus and happiness and continuous improvement, the product owner being the one who really maximizes the value, the utility in, on how work gets prioritized and everybody else that is producing work is considered a developer. So that's it folks, this video could go a lot longer, but I just wanted to situate for you what is Scrum, what is Agile. So Agile is bigger, Scrum is inside Agile. They all came from the world of software development. They all focus on individuals and interactions doing great work. So you have motivated people collaborating to create awesome products and clients that are close to the development team and they are happy with the quality of the product that they receive. While frameworks give you a much more detailed instruction on how you could be implementing things, Agile speaks of values and principles and what should you think, what should you keep in mind, even though the specific details on how you implement your tasks could be radically different considering other organizations and maybe even just teams inside the same organization. If Scrum is your thing, I just got a booklet 
called Scrum in Practice. And it's very short. You can read it in one sitting. And the objective is to really, really simplify Scrum because Scrum isn't that complicated, isn't really that hard. And there is too much stuff lost in translation out there. So if that interests you, there you have it, the Scrum in Practice, which comes with a workbook that you can download as well to start implementing Scrum. Very useful if it's the very first time that you're coming together and getting acquainted with the framework. I hope this video was useful and let me know in the comments if there is anything specifically that you want me to create content for. I'll stop this video here and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.